In this lesson, we're going to have a look at customizing the Tools panel. The default layout of the Flash Tools panel is pretty good, but you may find yourself wanting to shuffle things around a little bit to suit your particular workflow. For example, nested underneath the Rectangle tool is the Poly Star tool. Say, for example, you use the Poly Star tool and the Rectangle tool quite often, and you don't want them nested. If this is the case, choose Edit and Customize Tools Panel. Here we have a graphic representation of the Tools Panel on the left, a list of available tools, and a current selection box over here. How this works is, we select a button on the left. And you can see, when we select a button, its outline changes to red. Then, we can either remove the current tool attached to that button, or we can add new ones. Say, for example, we want to get rid of the eyedropper tool. Select the button, select the tool here, and click Remove. Same thing with the eraser tool. Click the button, select and remove. Hit OK, and now we can see our changes. The buttons are still there, though. Unfortunately, you cannot save space by doing this. Let's put them back. Edit, Customize Tools Panel, select the button. Now, we'll select the eyedropper tool from the list of available tools and hit Add. Another way to do this is to hit the Restore Default button. Click that and everything goes back as it was. Now, about this flyout, Nested Tools. Let's go back and have a look at the Rectangle tool. Under this button, you can see we have two tools. Say we wanted to add more. We'll add an ink bottle. We'll add a line tool. And we can even add another Rectangle tool. I'm not really sure why a person would want to do this, but we can do it. Now when I hold the mouse button down, you can see all of the tools here. Select one rectangle tool or another one. Back to Customize Tools panel and Restore Defaults. And that's about it for customizing the Flash Tools panel.